Hi guys. So today I'm filming a video. I am starting off my full day of eating video and my video about me getting vaccinated, getting the COVID-19 vaccination. Um, so today we are doing the vaccination part. So yeah, I have an appointment to get the vaccination, get the, well, to get the vaccine at 1230. So I have about 15 minutes, but it's across the street. I'm just literally walking over there. So I'm not, I'm going to leave in probably like five minutes, um, just to be safe. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, I don't really know what to expect. There's a whole lot of people over there, but I also heard that it takes probably like at most like 30 minutes. Um, and 15 of those minutes, you're just waiting because after you get the vaccination or after you get the vaccine, you have to wait 15 minutes to make sure that you don't have like an allergic reaction or something like that. I already had class today. I just did an exam. I already worked out. I already did my cardio. I already posed. I've already, I've been pretty freaking productive. You know, I'm not going to press anyone to get the vaccine. If you want to get it, you're going to get it. If you don't want to get it, that's fine too. You know, like I, you do what you do, you do what you feel is best for you and your lifestyle and your body and your choices and your values and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting it. Good morning guys. So let me turn off my air or my, not my freaking air, my heat because it's cold as heck outside. Good morning guys. Today or what's my intro? Do I even have an intro? Why am I acting like I'm all official? Good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kendall. That's not my intro. We're just gonna keep going. Good morning guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Today as you guys can tell by the title I mean, I already started this vlog with me getting vaccinated. That went well. I feel fine. My arm is perfectly fine. That's where I got vaccinated, the shot at. And yeah, no symptoms or reactions or anything like that. I have my second shot exactly three weeks after my first one. So April 20th at the exact same time at the exact same place. So I'll let you guys know how that one goes. But today, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm also going to be doing a full like weekend of eating. Not just like a full day of eating, but like a full weekend of eating. I'm, yeah, I'm 10 weeks out, which is freaking crazy. And you guys saw me eat my freaking Cheerios, plain Cheerios, which I think are freaking bomb. I love them. Um, so I do that on the weekends because it kind of just reminds me of like being like a little kid, waking up, get my bowl of cereal, watching TV. I do that on Sundays so you guys will see like me like getting my bowl of cereal, watching TV, well watching cartoons. But yeah, so that was my first meal was my, it was literally just 39 grams of just regular Cheerios. I had a half cup of my protein swim milk because it is freaking amazing like for protein but i also love soy milk so like i think it tastes really good um it also has like a thicker consistency so like i as you guys saw in the last clip i kind of like stir like my cereal in it together and it becomes like thicker um and i like that because the cereal kind of like soaks it up a little bit and then i also added in a half tablespoon of chia seeds for some extra fiber because i do track my fiber and i try to get about 30 to 35 grams a day the recommended amount is 25 grams a day, but that just doesn't do it for me. So I do it what works for my body and that is what works. Um, as you can see, it's morning. So like my hair, not it, but this is a very real vlog. And so I'm about to pose. I'm in just literal like underwear and a sports bra. A lot of times I pose in my suit 
not my competition suit because I don't have that yet, but a lot of times I pose in like my posing suit. But I just wasn't wasn't feeling that today, so we're not doing that. I also have socks on. You guys can't see those, but um, I just I don't know. I just didn't feel like I didn't feel like taking them off. So let's do the thing. Don't don't squeeze your booty cheek. Okay guys, so I'm all done with posing. Uh, my hair is still like very messy, but I don't really care. Um, I got changed for my workout. And yes, I'm gonna keep my fuzzy socks on because I really don't care. Um, I'm only, I'm going downstairs to my home gym. So like my apartment gym. So I'll probably be in there by myself. Um, especially because it is a Saturday. So yes. One thing about prep guys though is that since you're getting less food, your recovery is already like it's, it's not as great. So like and I've noticed that like my recovery used to be amazing. Um obviously like I do things to help myself recover, but like without having to do that, my recovery still used to be really, really good. And I like if I was sore, I'd be sore for like a day. But now with prep, I'm like sore for like a week. <laughs> maybe longer in like the same body spot or body part which sucks but you know it's part of it honestly i really need to shave so if you could see all the hair on my legs i apologize um but yeah so i have cardio i have cardio five times a week i feel like you guys knew this um let's go into the kitchen and then i have shoulder workout now so the last time I talked to you guys, or the last time I updated you guys, I told you guys, pause, actually. Oh, I don't even think I showed you guys my dope ass, big ass water bottle. Hydro Flask Who is the exact same as Hydro Flask, but it's by the brand Simple Movement on Amazon. This is a 64 ounce, so I only have to fill this up twice a day to get my gallon in. And it costs like $30 compared to if, if, if I got like a 64 ounce Hydro Flask. I don't even want to talk about the price. <laughs> so, hold on. Okay, so it's a little loud, sorry. But I do my cardio, have 35 minutes on the Stairmaster. And this is like my least favorite part of the day. But after that, I have a shorter workout. And I know in my maybe maybe this video maybe my last video i don't even know um i told you guys about how my coach told me that i need to start going lighter for my upper body days so i did that for this past week then i checked in with her again and now she's telling me that i can go heavier again um because i'm somebody who can put on muscle i feel like pretty easily but i lose it very easily as well so she noticed that and she was like oh even though like i'm still like i still have a lot of muscle up top but she just didn't want me to like go too light and then just lose everything you know and then she said that we would basically just kind of take it day by day not day by day like week by week so next week i could be lifting heavy still proper body but I could also be lifting lighter. So, yeah, but I just thought, <gasps> <sighs> sorry. It's honestly really freaking hard to talk when you're doing the Stairmaster. So I'm gonna go, but I will give you guys more check-in updates from yesterday <sighs> once I'm done. Okay guys, so, back up in my apartment all done with working out training everything for today i posed i did my vacuums i did my cardio i stretched 
and I lifted. So you're all freaking done. And that's one of the best feelings about like getting your workout done early in the day. It's like you have the whole rest of your day to do whatever you feel the need to do. You know, you don't have to worry about working out. So yeah, but y'all know what time it is. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that post-workout I have cream of rice or oats. And throughout this past week, so Monday through Friday, I had a lot of cream of rice. So I think I'm gonna switch it up today and do my favorite oats, the Bob's Red Mill, gluten-free, old-fashioned oats, put in my flax seeds. Actually, I have some that's open now. Yeah. I'm gonna give some, some of my ground flax. Y'all know the drill. Top that off with my Pea Science Snickerdoodle Protein. Oh, it's so good. And some strawberries and some cinnamon. So I'm going to do a little time lapse. Let's go. Okay, not my finest bowl of oats. I mean, like, it's going to taste delicious, but it doesn't look <laughs> that beautiful. Um, I've been doing, I normally would put, like, the cinnamon on top, but I've been kind of, like, stirring it in. Um, because I found that when I would put it on top, it'd, like, I'd get, like, big, like, bites of it. And it would, like, hit me and, like, burn my throat. So I've been mixing it in there. So it doesn't look, like, as pretty, but it's very, very good. So if you've never tried this, like oats or cream of rice or cream of wheat because you can do that we can do this recipe with all three of them um try it out okay guys dirty mirror but so i ate my meal and now it's like 12 30 and actually let me turn you guys around so um i mean since i'm filming my food this weekend i feel like i'm just gonna vlog the whole weekend so I'm actually gonna go DoorDash. That's how. That's what I do to earn like extra income outside of my nannying position. And today, I like my boyfriend's not here. He actually has a football game later, so, um, and it's out of town. Like it's six hours away, so I'm not there, which is really really sad. But I'll be there in spirit and I'll be watching it. But um, I decided to take this day to get some DoorDash time in, so I'm gonna go do that. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing because I did not shower yet. <laughs> I know it's a little bit nasty, but let me explain. So I'm somebody who once I shower, I get in like full on like real like relaxation mode and literally will not do anything else. Um, and I'm like, no, like I know I have stuff to do today, so I'm not showering yet. Um, wash my face, okay? Wash my face because skin, but did not full on shower yet. So just thought I would. I I'm, I'm being transparent, but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. Okay. <laughs> So I still have the same sweatshirt on because I'm not going to, like, I'm dirty. So, like, I'm not going to change, like, everything, you know? So I have the same sweatshirt. Cropped it. It was my sister's school, whatever. And I have a coat on. It's, like, 50-something degrees out, but I'm not quite sure, like, what the wind is like. And when, But, like, when the wind is out, it is out and it's freezing. So I'm going to have this on, but if it's, you know, warm enough for me to just wear my sweatshirt, I'll do that. Um, but then I have these sweatpants on, which actually are, like, my favorite. I love them. My mom or my parents got these for me uh, as, like, a cute little, like, Valentine's gift. So, they're joggers. Love them. Um, then I still have my fuzzy socks on that have freaking <laughs> snowmen on them. Then I have my Burks. <laughs> so, I don't know. I look freaking crazy, and I really don't care. So I'm gonna go make this money. I have to go get gas first and then we're gonna make this money. Hi guys. So it is later on and I am officially done door dashing and made a decent amount of money for today. So I am good to go back home. So I'm on my way back to my apartment now. I look a little rough. Um, I like, when I'm door dashing, I just like, I'm not paying attention. To, like, I'm, like, I'm not really, I don't really care how I look necessarily. Cause like, honestly, I don't, like to look like my best to when I door dash just because there are a lot of like weird people out there and you know I just I don't want to attract those people so even though I, I I still did today sadly so um that's why I like I 
walked out the house looking like a fuck like a, like a freaking crackhead and that's why i don't care that my hair is literally halfway out because i do not need to look my best for these people i just need to deliver them food and make sure the orders are correct and go on about my day now it is about 3 30 ish and it is time for my next meal um so i had my last meal at 12 so ideally my meal should have been at like three o'clock but doordash is really really busy so i was like okay i'm just gonna keep doordashing i'm um, gonna have my next meal at four my coach says to keep them between four and three and four hours so i'm still okay um i just started to get hungry at the three hour mark um but since i waited an extra hour to eat i don't want to eat later on like i don't want to have to push back the rest of my meals because at this rate i would be having my meal at four then i'd have i'd be having another meal at seven and then i'd be having another meal at 10. by 10 o'clock i'm like in bed ready to go to sleep and I'm, I'm i don't like to eat that late so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually combine meals uh combine meals three and four because meal number four actually oh no meal number three is actually very very small it was like a hundred something calories so it wasn't like a very big meal anyways it was kind of just like a leftover macros meal you know um so i just did what i could with those macros um so now uh, i'm just gonna combine the two and i'll get like a bigger meal out of it and then i'll have my last meal at like seven ish seven to eight o'clock which is around the time that I normally have my last meal. So yeah, um, I normally, so Monday through Friday, I have like literally, like like I said, I eat the same things and I eat the same things at the exact same time um, because I'm honestly, I'm not as flexible throughout the week because I have like a set schedule of things whereas on the weekend, I'm a little bit more like spontaneous and I don't have as much as, go I don't have as much planned and like set stuff going on. I still do things, but they're not like set in stone things. Or like scheduled things I just kind of do them so um, on the weekend sometimes I'll only have like four meals I'll still use the exact same macros and like use up all my macros and make sure I'm getting like my nutritious meals and stuff like that I just will make the meals maybe like a slightly bigger because I need to make them into four meals instead of five so um, plus on the weekend sometimes I do wake up later than I do throughout the week and that means the meal times are pushed back and I don't like to eat super late so having four meals instead of five helps me you know eat but you know not eat too late okay guys so it's time for meal number three and I need to actually check on my fitness pal and see on my iPad and see exactly what that is so it's pretty simple I'm gonna be having um, just an egg white omelet with turkey bacon and then I'm also going to be having um my smoothie i love smoothies um but i'm adding my wow butter which is my nut free like peanut butter substitute um i'm adding a tablespoon of that to make it into like a more like thicker kind of like pudding consistency so it'll be my egg white omelet with turkey bacon and my like smoothie pudding All right, guys, so this is the finished product. We just have the egg whites. I made it into an omelet, even though it's literally just egg whites, the two pieces of turkey bacon, and then my like smoothie pudding type of deal. You guys can see that it's like thicker. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to devour this, drink some water, watch some TV, and I will talk to you guys after. So it's later on, I showered. Clearly I don't look, I mean, I look the same, but like I look, clean squeaky clean fresh now and it's time for my last meal it's actually cooking i'll show you guys can you see that ah! so as long as my macros permit uh basically every saturday i get like a like dairy free pizza and i love it it fits completely in my macros i don't like jeopardize anything um 
it, yeah so i literally i look forward to this meal every single freaking weekend and it's literally just so good so i'll show you guys the four ingredients that i use to make this pizza okay so this right here is what i use for the crust it's just the odo's original flatbread um and it's vegan and gluten-free fabulous and i think there's like in this whole thing it's pretty good size you guys will see it's 45 carbs for the whole thing and then i have the daya mozzarella shreds because i'm not eating dairy i actually really like these so at least on pizza and then i have the applegate uncured turkey pepperoni which have fantastic macros so for 17 pieces of uh pepperoni it is oh you can't even see it it's like i don't even know can you see I, I don't even know what that is. It's zero carbs. It's 10 protein. I think it's like maybe like two and a half fat. Something like that. And then my sauce that I use. It's a local brand. But you might be able to get it. I don't really know. Macros are also fabulous. So for a fourth cup, it's one fat, three carbs, and one protein. So that is my dinner. And I'll show you guys. Ooh, yay. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is it, and obviously it's vegan cheese, so it's not going to like melt exactly like regular cheese, but it still tastes really, really good. And ah, I'm so excited. I literally, you guys don't understand, like I look forward to this meal every single freaking Saturday. Like, yum. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut it up. You know, you would think for like how much I eat pizza, you would think for how much I eat pizza that I would have a pizza cutter and how much I love pizza that I have a pizza cutter. I don't have one. I'm so I'm just going to use this knife. Ooh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to eat my pizza, drink my water, and my boyfriend's in Paul Games still on, so I'm going to be watching that and yeah, but I've literally, what I've been doing is chilling on my couch, watching this football game, and then putting together my grocery list, which I think, and I'm putting together my grocery list and like my menu slash foods that I want to eat for this next week because tomorrow's Sunday and I go grocery shopping on Sundays. Excuse me. So I want to make sure I have my grocery list ready to go because I go grocery shopping early in the morning because I don't like to have to deal with a whole bunch of people. But I'm going to enjoy this and... I'll maybe talk to you guys before I go to bed or I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, so today is Sunday. It is bright as all get out right now. And yeah, but today's Sunday. It is the next day and I am headed to the grocery store. It's around nine o'clock right now. I have not eaten anything, but I have filled up my water bottle just to like bring with me and uh drink if i start to get hungry i was really just kind of in the mood to like just get up and go to the grocery store because where the grocery store that i go to is located um it is like surrounded by a whole bunch of different churches like jewish churches christian churches catholic churches they're all by each other um so as soon as church is over people come swarming in there and I, I personally, y'all, I just don't, I don't have time for the people, you know, it, it's literally like a madhouse, so I try to go as early as I can, as early as I feel like I can wake up, um, I literally, I hopped out of bed, put my hair in a, uh, put my hair in a bun, and I'm literally in my pajamas right now, that's normally how it goes, I normally always grocery shop in pajamas, because it's just how I feel, and that's what I want to do, you know? But yeah, I'm going to Walmart and then I'm going to Whole Foods. I would normally go to Target, but it's Easter. Happy Easter, by the way. Uh, when you guys see this, it won't be Easter, but still happy Easter. Um, I normally go to Target, but Target's actually closed on Easter. So I'm going to have to make a do and find the things that I would normally get from Target. Probably at like Walmart or something. So, yeah. But that's what I'm doing right now. Um, today is an off day, so I don't have any lifting, I don't have any cardio, basically I have on the agenda, I just have to do vacuums, which I already did, 
um so that's checked off um i have to pose i do that every day and then i have i do yoga so um and that's just like prescribed prescribed by my coach um she said to do it at least once a week i already did it once a week but i like to i have two off days like two rest days um and i like to do some type of stretching or something like that on my rest days so i just do yoga twice a week instead of once a week which is perfectly fine so um i like to do restorative yoga because like the name itself it like restores your body and kind of like gets it like I don't know like it stretches it out and just kind of like relaxes it and kind of gets it ready for the next week you know so I normally just find like a video on YouTube um I, I like to do it from the comfort of my own home and I like to choose how long I want it to be um but I can also go to a class and stuff like that but mm, not feeling it also I want to be I want to film a grocery haul on bikini prep and i'm debating if i should put that in this video or if i should put it in a separate video like by itself um so you guys might see that in this video you guys might not i really don't know but you guys will know by now so if it's not in this video it'll be in a video to come later on my boyfriend and i might go back to our hometown um to celebrate easter with his family my family doesn't really do anything no we don't do anything for Easter, um, but his family does. But he, my boyfriend also has football practice um, because the grind does not stop even on holidays. So um, later on, probably around dinner time, we'll probably head back home for a little bit um, to celebrate. But yeah, that's about it. But. It's very, very bright out, if y'all can't tell by, like, my freaking eyes. Um, so, I'm gonna go, but I will either, I mean, I'll just talk to you guys. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll record a little bit of me in the grocery store. I don't really know if I'm that bold, but <laughs> we will see, and I will just see you guys when I see you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back in the car, and, oh. Oh, I locked myself in the car. Um, I'm back in the car. I actually just drove over to Whole Foods. I got everything that I needed from Walmart. And I actually found a really fun and macro-friendly and gluten-free find at Walmart. Um, I'm not going to show or tell you guys about it in right now. Because I'm not sure if I'm putting the grocery haul in this video or the next video. Um... But you guys will see that very, very soon because I'm really freaking excited about it. Um, but now I'm at Whole Foods. I'm going to get, I think I only need like maybe like four or five items from here. So I should be in and out pretty quickly. And then I'm going to go home and eat because I'm hungry now. I wasn't really super hungry when I first woke up. Woke up. But now... I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go get these groceries, finish it off. Oh my gosh, wait. I need to show you guys this. This big old bag has wheels on it. It's like a, I don't know, I'll, I'll show you guys. You guys can see the brand, it's right up there. And I put all of my groceries in there and my parents got me that for Easter. And it is, fabulous if you live in an apartment and like you obviously have groceries and you don't want to like carry all of your groceries or make multiple trips back to your car because obviously like i live on the seventh floor and i don't want to have to like keep going up and down you know so i literally i get all of my groceries in one freaking trip with this big bag i can fit in this bag that is how big it is it is amazing i will show you guys a better look of it when i get back to my apartment but i'm going to go into whole foods as you guys can see right there and get the rest of my groceries and then i will talk to you guys in a little bit i just realized i was just looking at like what i like the foods i had planned for today and i realized that it's pretty much the exact same like three out of the four meals that i'm having are basically the exact same as <laughs> they were yesterday like, I, it's gonna be i mean mm, it's gonna be slightly different barely different but slightly so i'll still show you guys all of the meals but i do want to tell you guys that they are going to be pretty much the same except for meal four meal four is going to be a little bit different Wait, 
Okay guys, I look crazy, but it's it's lazy Sunday, so this is what you're getting. Just made meal number two, just my protein oats. Like I said, it's literally the same as yesterday, but I'm going to enjoy these bad buoys. Ooh, I'm so excited. Um, obviously I didn't show you guys me making them because I showed you guys that yesterday, and I think I've showed you guys it in the past anyways. So yeah, but I mean, I watched some cartoons and I turned on um nailed it because it's if you don't know what nailed it is it's like a baking show on Netflix and it's so good there's like five seasons I think and they just came out with a new season and I'm watching it and then I also did posing so yeah basically like besides posing I've been chilling though so and I'm loving it so I'm gonna eat this meal and then I'm going to do my yoga so, I just... I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Are you done? Y'all, my Siri, Siri, that's not her name. My Alexa. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Okay, my A-L-E-X-A. -A. Um she she be tripping i just realized i just finished oh my oatmeal devoured her oh shoot oh oh golly i realized that i had not given a uh like i didn't give like a check-in update from this week um really not much to update you guys on um but i hit a new low weigh-in of 121.6 so i lost very close to two pounds very excited about that we made no changes to my macros um then i already talked to you guys about my whole upper body session ordeal going on now so going back up to just working heavy for upper body i'm just gonna take it week by week and yeah once again Actually, here, I have my iPad right here. So we'll just go through um, my measurements because I remember last week I was like, I think I hit new low measurements, but I don't know and I don't feel like looking at my iPad. I have the iPad right here. So I'm just gonna do that now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm gonna do the ones from this week, obviously. Last week, my waist was at 24.75 and this week it is also at 24.75. So that did not change um hips from last week they were 34.75 inches this week they were 34.25 inches so that means i'm losing some of my booty y'all more of my booty not that i had a lot of booty to lose but um yeah but that's just part of the process and then for my left thigh last week it was 21 inches and this week it is 20.5 inches so we are losing some inches and then right thigh it's so weird like one week i'm like equal for my thighs but then the next week i'm not my right thigh like holds on a little bit longer than my left thigh it seems like so last week i was also 21 inches on my right thigh but this week i was 20.75 inches on my right thigh obviously there's like some variables like I try to measure in the exact same spots every single time, but it can be a little tricky to do it in the exact same spot. So, but these are just kind of like relative, um, just kind of like keep track of everything. So, yeah. So, it is a little bit later and now I am gone, like my food's all digested. Not that I'm about to do any like rigorous activity or anything. Is it rigorous or vigorous? No rigorous i'm about to do my yoga so i thought i would do like a little like maybe like time lapse of me doing yoga um, i'm doing a restorative uh i'm doing restorative yoga i would say like restorative class but it's like i'm not going to a class the class is on youtube so Blech. excuse me um 
But yeah, so I'm gonna do a little time lapse. Hey guys, so meal number four, just a little smoothie, you know, green smoothie. Not that you guys can even really see. You guys can kind of see that it's green. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to eat or drink. No, I'm going to eat it with a spoon because that's how I like to do it. Um, I just put in here a whole bunch of spinach. This is literally like, like a meal, literally. So I put like a lot, a lot of spinach. And then a lot of strawberries, a decent amount of blueberries, some banana, um, um, about three fourths cup of my silk protein soy milk, and then some stevia, and I think that's it. But yeah, these things right here, they get me full, they get me right, and it's sweet, it's delicious. I love it. <laughs> I also, look at this consistency. Mm. <laughs> I also, I forgot to say, I added chia seeds. Mm. Okay, guys, so I'm all showered. I put clothes on. I look like a human being. And I actually prepped my last meal because I'm bringing it with me because I'm headed to my boyfriend's cousin's house for Easter. So I'll show you guys my last meal of the day. Eee! I'm so excited. So. Your fries, like I told you guys, I wanted to make. Oh, actually, no, I don't, I don't know if I told you guys. I wanted to make fries, so I made some fries. I have some steak that I made, and then this is what my mom made me. So it's like a take on a Reese's cup, except not because I can't eat peanut butter. So it's just vegan dark chocolate or like vegan dark chocolate chips with my uh, Wow butter made into like a little cup. And she measured literally every single thing out, so she didn't have enough chocolate with the measurements to cover up the whole thing, which I don't care. It's gonna taste good. Um, and then I have my sugar-free G Hughes ketchup. And then for drinks, I'm just bringing my water because I have to finish this. And then I'm bringing this in case I start to get some cravings um, because I hear it tastes like Sprite. So, or like the cherry Sprite. So that is meal number four and the last meal of the day.